Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Are you nervous about installing screen protectors? Does it make you break out into a sweat? You might be interested in this product by Banks. So this is their King Kong screen protector. It's made of Corning Accessory Glass 2. It has an antimicrobial coating. And perhaps most importantly, it comes with the coolest looking installer that I have ever seen. Really impressive looking. It truly does look foolproof. Let's get this installed on my iPhone 13 Pro and see if it's as cool as it looks. So looking at the contents of the box, we've got this super cool installer. We've got our cleaning kit, always crucial. Let's check out and see what we've got inside here. We've got our wet wipe, we've got our microfiber cloth, we have a dust removal sticker to clean your screen with, and then we have these little guys which are good for positioning and also for removing any bits of dust which might get trapped in between the screen protector and your screen. So I think we should be in good shape here. And then finally, we have the screen protector itself. So looking here at our installer, this is hard plastic. Probably not the most eco-friendly thing out there, but hopefully it's going to work well. So the deal is you need to put your phone in here and then you're going to attach the screen protector on top and then use the little rolly thing in order to press it down. Really curious to see how well this is gonna work. So to start off with, you need to place your phone in the installer. Be sure to remove any screen protectors or cases before doing so. So put it in facing upwards. Just lay it down in. And then you need to clean your screen. So you're going to want to start with your wet wipe. And then use the included microfiber cloth to dry it. And then take your dust removal sticker and use it to remove any remaining dust on the screen. Once your phone is beautifully clean and dust free, you're going to need to remove the screen protector from its hard plastic backing. Do this carefully and slowly. Remember that you're looking at a very brittle glass here. Be careful also not to touch the adhesive side of the screen protector when you're doing this. Then once you've done that, locate these little knobs here on the bottom and on the top. And what you're going to need to do is put the screen protector over those. There are little holes here, so this little hole is going to go over this little spot here, and these holes here are going to go over those two little knobs at the bottom there. You're going to start with the top first, so put this top one on, and then go down to the bottom ones, and then you get to operate the super cool installer. Once the screen protector is properly secured at the three attachment points, the one here at the top and the two on the bottom, you need to tilt the cover slightly and then pull it across the screen protector so that the roller is in contact with the screen protector and will properly press it down. For some reason, I'm having trouble getting mine to go across. It doesn't quite want to go up on top of the phone. Once you're finished, you need to take out your phone and remove the top cover. So looking at the results of the installation, I think everything turned out really well, although I did find this to be a bit more difficult to install than I expected. The installer just didn't want to pull smoothly across the top of the phone. Maybe there was just something a little bit wrong with the installer I was using, or maybe I was somehow doing it wrong, although I'm not sure what I did wrong. But all's well that ends well, the results here are quite good. We have an almost perfect alignment. We have a tiny bit more on one side than on the other, but it's still straight, looks great. There were almost no bubbles as a result of the installation. Had a few at the end and they were very easy to rub out. We have very nice rounded edges on here, just a tiny cutout for the notch. Overall, I think everything looks just great. In terms of optical clarity, everything looks wonderful, nice and bright and clear. This is slippery smooth underneath the fingertips, very good against fingerprints, at least at this point. And in terms of haptic touch, very responsive. Overall, just a really nice screen protector. I do appreciate the fact that we've got an antimicrobial coating on here and that this is made of quality components. Love the fact that this is Corning Accessory Glass too. As an edge-to-edge -edge screen protector, this may not fit with all cases, but because it's so thin, I think it's going to fit with many. So let's try it out with a few. First off, with some of the Banks cases. So Banks sent me out their Mist case. 
This is available in a MagSafe version and a non-MagSafe version. This is the non-MagSafe version. Really pretty case. Easy to get on, easy to get off. And as you can see, we've got an edge-to-edge -edge fit here, but no lifting or anything like that. Looks great here with the mist case by Banks. I'll put links below about this one. I think it's $15.99 or something like that. Actually seems like quite a nice case for $15.99. Checking this out with a Case Defy Ultra Impact case. Hopefully we're going to be in good shape here. Case Defy Ultra Impact case looks great. Very nice result. Checking this out with the Rhino Shield Solid Suit. Got an excellent fit here with the Rhino Shield Solid Suit. Looks beautiful. And then finally, Mouse Limitless 4.0. Great fit here with the Mouse Limitless 4.0. Everything looks marvelous. Great screen protector, great case. Again, we've been looking at the King Kong Corning Glass Screen Protector for iPhone 13 Pro. This product is available directly from banks as well as from other retailers, and it has an MSRP of $34.99. The mist case that we looked at for iPhone 13 Pro is $15.99. Many thanks to the kind folks at banks for sending me out this product to review. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below, and please hit that subscribe button because I've got lots of iPhone 13 series case and screen protector reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.